had a, I had a surprising pandemic. Mine was kind of weird. I found out that my wife was really into puzzles. <laughs> oh, my bad. Is this a puzzle crowd? <laughs> Is this a big puzzle crowd? Like, kind of up front, maybe. Puzzle and knitting, I'll give you guys that. But there is a whole big, like, oh, I'm into puzzles. Since when? <laughs> Since when? I didn't have that information before we got married, right? Like, I never saw her pick up a puzzle before the pandemic, and then afterwards, she just got all snooty. Like, my problem isn't with puzzles. It's the puzzle attitude that comes with it, <laughs> all right? You puzzle people, you guys think that you're better than everybody else. And I don't like it. You're not book readers. <laughs> like, I just be doing pandemic stuff, chilling, playing my PlayStation. She'd be like, oh, well, you should try a puzzle. It's cognitivity. No, 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 no. No. <sighs> Man, it was weird, though. It was, it was uh, picked out a dog over the pandemic. You know what I mean? Oh, my bad. I said that wrong. Let me say it how most people say that sentence. I uh, rescued a dog <laughs> over the pandemic, but I don't like saying I rescued it. You know what I mean? Because, like, that's a little bit too much. Like, self. self like, oh, I rescued this dog. I rescued it. And people are like, oh, you're a good person. And it's like, I didn't rescue the dog. You know what I mean? Like, there's nothing heroic that I did that makes you feel like I rescued this dog. Like, I got the dog the same way I got my wife. I was just looking at cute pictures on my phone. <laughs> you know what I mean? I was like, mm, I like that one. Maybe she'll come home with me, let me rub her belly. Maybe she'll lick my face, who knows? Well, it's been here. I don't know. It's cool. You guys dog people? Yeah. That's uh, Let me ask this question. Are dogs a part of the family? Yeah. yeah they're not. <laughs> All right. Your dogs, your what? Yours would argue. No, yours would bark. Like, that's what. <laughs> this is, he would, here, I'm going to ask you this. All right. If the dog's a part of your family, right? Like, you love it like family. But the dog's not a part of your family, right? Like, tell you the truth, you actually took the dog away from its actual family. <laughs> I know. We don't think about that, do we? We're like, oh, we're rescuing animals. No, you are stealing animals. You are. I stole one, too. It's cool. It's great, but it's not a part of the family. Like, honestly, I hate when I see animals in family pictures, especially engagement pictures. Have you guys seen this? If you've seen it, people will have a dog. You want one, don't you? Like, you have a, do you have an engagement picture with a dog in it? But you're thinking about it. I see it's in your future. You got dog in my lap energy. Like, this is a, there's a picture on my refrigerator. It's not my friends, my wife's friends. And they're getting engaged. And it's a photo of them and a dog and a dog, and it's a dude, like the guy I know, and he's out there. First of all, let me just say death to engagement photos, okay? <laughs> we need to get rid of that. We need to get rid of that. Are you guys in this situation? Don't do it. No, You're photographers? <laughs> Why? <laughs> oh, Lord Jesus, thank you. Why do you guys take people to fields, okay? <laughs> like, it is. We had a wedding photographer. They tried to take us to a field. She tried to take me to a field. I said, a field? Are you real for sure? No. No, not with our history in America. Screw fields. No. No, there wasn't a goal post like a football field. They're like, oh, put on this Patagonia sweatshirt. By the way, white people, notice that you guys have switched from North Face to Patagonia without telling anybody. <laughs> I'm bringing it up at the next black people meeting. <laughs> but this photo, it's a picture of them. The guy, he's like, oh. and there's the dog. And it's like, save the date. And they think it's an adorable picture. 
And that may be an adorable picture to you, but to that dog's mother, that looks like a ransom photo. <laughs> like it does. It's like, hey, save the date. May 12th, we got your kid. Get it back. I'll be the one in white. Like, no. <laughs> you know what I did for my engagement photos? I hired a photographer. And I set him in the back seat of my car. <laughs> set him in the back seat of my car and just said, yo, take pictures through the rear view mirror. And just take a picture of the vein that grows in the middle of my head. <laughs> right? Because I want our pictures to be a real life representation of our love. <laughs> and just take pictures while that vein gets thicker and thicker while we drive past 17 restaurants trying to figure out, well, I'm not that hungry, but I could eat, actually is. <laughs>